What double standard disgusts you? If you owe a company money, you will be charged interest slash late fees slash service interruption almost immediately after the due date. If a company owes you money, you might see it in 4 to 6 weeks slash 2 dash 3 billing cycles. Politicians not following their own COVID guidelines. It has become rules for thee, but not for me. Right now in Canada, we are in strict lockdown, but a dozen of our politicians have been found vacationing around the globe. In other words, we can't bury grandma at a funeral, but these politicians can go work their tan. Thankfully, many of them have resigned in the last two weeks. If you always arrive to work late you're in big trouble. If work never finishes on time. Shrug. No big deal. Dogs can bite us, but we can't bite them. Eater, I know you can bite a dog. Please. My inbox can only handle getting the same message so many times. Bank slash businesses can immediately withdraw money from your bank account and apply all their disgusting fees. But for banks slash businesses to give you money, you have to wait 7 to 10 business days for the funds to appear. Basically being against violence, but making comments about how men will get raped in prison. It's disgusting and it's so mainstream. Every cop show makes some comment about prison rape being okay. Even shows like SVU where their entire storyline should be about protecting people. Someone can treat you however they want and nobody says a word. But the minute you say anything back you're the villain. It makes me sick. Those romantic comedies with the cliche beautiful and smart woman married to the dumbest fuck of a guy who is lucky to have her. Swap the roles and see people flip out. I'm a straight male. I went to a gay bar with some gay women and their straight married women friends. One of the straight women was being basically sexually harassed by another gay woman there. To the point of being chased around the table, all the while saying she was married to a guy and she wanted nothing to do with it. The whole bar was laughing. If I did that to a woman in a regular bar, I'd get my ass kicked, thrown out, or arrested. The employee should give two weeks notice. Anything else is unprofessional. But the employer will actively obscure their intentions until the very last minute. Saying COVID-19 is a hoax, but being top of the list for a vaccine. Business should do whatever it takes to get ahead. But if the employee tries to make their life better, or find a new job, they are lazy and ungrateful. This is one of those sought by controversial posts. When I leave a job. I'm generally expected to give two weeks notice, so the company isn't left without essential things being done. When a company decides to let me go though, no warning to start, putting in applications or saving more money. You're just gone. Total horseshit. I fucking yearn for the day when someone going to a therapist to support your mental health is treated socially how going to the gym is for your physical health. Like just imagine, if in a room full of dudes, I'm a dude, someone said they really made gains in therapy and the homies were supportive. It would legit make the world a better place, but somehow taking care of mental health gets looked down on a lot. Fuck that. Edit. Holy cow thanks all. Seriously. You matter. Take care of yourself reddit. Mind and body both. Child predators. Both men and women should Bisexual women are sexualized. Bisexual men are shunned. As a 17 year old I'm expected to act like an adult, but treated like child. Rich people getting money from the government vs poor people getting money from the government.